Somebody get 20. Somebody get 10. 10. Hello. Got 10. 15. Now 20. 15 to be 20. 15 to be a big 20 pounds, huh? 20 big, you're big 20, you're big 20. 20 for you, you're big 24. How's that? And now 5. At 25 pounds, and you're big 5, and you're big 6. At 26. I have 25, and now 26 pounds, and now you're big 6. Anybody else? Here we have lot F263, it's a 1974 Corvette Coupe with a big block 454 and automatic transmission. Odometer reads 28,000 miles. This car is part of the low mileage collection being sold here at Mecham. It says that it was purchased new by a GM employee from Jim Barnard Chevrolet and they have copies of the original checks, purchase plan application, and the dealer invoice, which is nice to have, plus the original window sticker, owner's manual, etc. Very nice interior with a big CD radio mounted up there. Here we have lot T109. It's a 1979 Corvette Coupe. Uh, the odometer reads 55,000 miles, black with red interior. It's automatic, LAD2 engine, and all the regular accessories, AC, T tops. It says that it has a new champion aluminum radiator. And it includes a documentation binder. Very nice. Red leather. Good condition interior. A little faded here and there, but that's not uncommon after so many years so it would benefit from a new carpet nice We have lot F173, 72 Corvette Coupe. Small block with an automatic transmission and the odometer shows 33,000 miles. It is Steel City's gray with a black interior. Matching numbers, beautiful. And this is lot S107, a 1981 Corvette, two-tone, beige, and dark bronze, over camel interior. It's automatic.
and the clock reads 42,807 miles. Here we have lot F206 1969 Corvette Coupe. It's a 427 big block with a four speed transmission. The clock reads 90,000 plus miles. It is Le Mans blue with a blue interior. It's matching numbers. The info sheet says that it, the uh, heads have been upgraded to the GM L89 aluminum heads. And uh, it also mentions upgraded GM Snowflake aluminum intake manifold and it's got side pipes. This is lot W36, 1981 Corvette. It's an automatic. Odometer reads 61,456 miles. White with uh, tan leather interior. It's got power locks, power windows, AC, it's automatic. Tilt, cruise, and the factory slotted rims. This is lot S167. It's a 1969 Corvette convertible. It's a big block 427 with a four speed transmission. The clock reads 87,000 miles. It is Monza Red with a saddle interior and it's got the uh, tri power carburetor setup, numbers matching, convertible with a hard top. Beautiful condition. This is lot W275, 82 Corvette Collector Edition with 46,000 miles. Of 
course, 82s are all automatics. This one, that's a collector edition of silver beige over silver beige. Her decal is really cracked and it looks, could be replaced. The door sticks quite a bit. Again, small detail. The interior looks pretty darn good actually. Yeah. Carpet is really faded. Not surprising after so many years. It's got nice T tops. Don't want to mess with the hatch because I'm sure it works. There's some things fading, paint damage, but everything can be fixed. I don't know if you can tell the difference of colors here. It's got the CB radio. So, nice car. We'll see how much it fetches. This is lot T217, 1973 Corvette Stingray Coupe with 65,000 miles. Orange with saddle interior, automatic transmission. So this is lot F4478, Corvette Pace Car Edition, automatic, with 72,000 miles. It's got the uh, L82 engine. Very nice condition. This is lot W75 1973 Corvette Coupe. So 350. The odometer reads 37,000 miles. Silver and black. Factory AC. Power steering, power brakes. F94 79 Corvette automatic factory air 
with 37,717 miles. Black with oyster interior. Lot F 82, 81 Corvette, red on red, automatic, so it shows 92,000 miles. Very good looking car. Okay, lot T157, 1974 Corvette Coupe. The odometer reads 88,000 miles. Metallic silver with red, dark red interior. It's automatic. This is a comprehensive restoration. New Flowmaster exhaust. Engine has been recently tuned and serviced with all fluids changed. NCRS shipping data report. I don't know what happened here. So look at the engine. These, by the way, they were not installed at the factory. That's an aftermarket badge.
Yeah. Little modifications. I prefer original cars, but nice interior. Very nice seats. These are vinyl. Not that it matters, but. No AC car. And there are a few flaws here. I don't think the camera, because of the light, I don't think it'll pick that up. But. Oh, I know it's a nice, it's a very nice car. This is lot T215, which is a 1968 Corvette convertible, L79 327, with a four speed transmission. Shows 50,000 miles. It is Safari yellow with black interior. No AC car. Or speed looks pretty original which is nice Here we have lot F260, which is a 1975 Corvette Coupe. However, it is obviously a convertible. Odometer reads 47,000 uh, miles. Small block, matching numbers, automatic. Probably redone seats and leather, beautiful. Deluxe panels. This is lot F258, it's the 1973 Corvette convertible, small block with a four-speed manual, no AC, the odometer reads 6300 miles, it is classic white over black interior and uh, four-speed manual. It has both hardtop and the soft top. And it's a radio delete car. Unfortunately, the hood is locked, so I cannot open that. And here we have lot number W153.1 82 Corvette the interior looks really good missing a few details it's got a tiny little steering wheel the seats are beautiful obviously been redone so they look gorgeous Yeah, pretty nice shape. 
no reserve so we'll see how much it it sells for someone installed this massive ducktail here <laughs> not my favorite look but I guess it's okay yeah bummer I want to see what they if they done anything under the hood but oh well And here we have lot F 264. Now, according to the info sheet, it's a 76 Corvette with 6,700 miles. It's a very nice vehicle. An orange flame. But what I find interesting is um, there's a little bit of a discrepancy here because it seems to be a 75, not a 76. From the steering wheel, and I'll show you under the hood in a second. It can be um, confusing, especially to a buyer who has not seen the car in person and had a chance to inspect the car. Or it could be a very early 76 with uh, leftover parts from a 75. And this is the reason why I'm thinking it's a 75. It's got the uh, cowl induction system. So, I don't know, you tell me. I am not an expert, so I'm a little confused here. Otherwise, it's a, it's a very nice vehicle. Lot W248, 71 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe. It's got an LS3 with a five-speed manual transmission, white over black. Beautiful. Frame off restoration. T44, 1973 Corvette convertible, 350, four speed. The clock reached 262 miles. So, anyway, that's what it reads. Look at the the engine. See what's under the hood. Oh boy. This is lot F170, 1982 Corvette Collector Edition. Part of the low mileage collection, 34,000 miles, silver beige over silver beige. And of course, being an 82, it's going to be an automatic. It's got the Bloomington Gold Survivor 2022, NCRS Top Fly 2022, and much more. I wish my 81 had this. Beautiful. Gorgeous car.
This is lot F265, which is a 1977 Corvette. Four-speed manual, no AC car. It has Corvette light blue over blue, and I'll show you that in a second. It is part of the low mileage collection, and it shows 3,600 miles on the clock. Side pipes, aftermarket. Check this out. Super bright blue, like a navy blue. I don't know what they call this blue. It's got the AC delete panel there. And of course, the four speed tranny. Beautiful condition. Beautiful. Love the blue. This is lot S167, which is a 1969 Corvette convertible. It's got the big block with the tri-power carburetor set up. It's a 427 uh, engine with a four-speed transmission. It shows 87,000 miles. Monza red over saddle interior. And here we have lot S106, a 1978 Corvette Pace Car Edition. It is automatic. The odometer reads 13,307 miles. And of course, it's black and silver with silver interior.
here we have lot S105, a 1974 Corvette Coupe. This one has the big block 454 engine, LS4, made it to a four speed manual transmission. The clock reads only 4,307 miles and it's a numbers matching all original vehicle offer at no reserve. It is bright yellow over black with an estimate of thirty to forty thousand dollars. And uh, what else? It's correct paint. Seventy four was the last year for the big block engine. Only thirty four ninety four were produced. It's got the original build sheet and the bill of sale. Delco AM FM radio, leather interior, T tops, of course, Riley wheels and the original Goodyear steel guard tires. And here we have lot S98, a 1969 Corvette Coupe, big block, 427, 390 horsepower V8, with a four-speed manual transmission. The odometer reads 76,599 miles. It is white over black. It's all matching numbers offered at no reserve. Here we have lot F88, it's a 1981 Corvette and it has only 16,000 miles. It is the two-tone autumn red dark claret and interior is uh, red leather. Beautiful interior, very nice and it does show 16,000 miles power seats yeah very nice and of course it has the mirror or at least the glass tops yeah these are the mirror uh, t-tops very nice condition Power antenna.
Oh, look at that. Bunch of cassettes. Very cool. It's got the uh, power mirrors too. F88 and 81 Corvette Pip, got an L81 V8 automatic, factory air, odometer reads 16,200 miles, mirrored glass tops, no reserve. Wow, 16,000 miles, somebody get 40, somebody get 30, somebody get 20, somebody get 10. 10. Got 10, 15, now 20, 15 to be 20. 70, so, 26, Ryan. So, now Lot T33, 78 Corvette Pace Car Edition. It's got the original 7,300 miles. It's a one owner car, numbers matching. It's got the original tires and paint. And it's an L82 engine with an automatic transmission. T77.1 75 Corvette convertible automatic shows 8200 miles it's an older frame off restoration they spent about $40,000 We have lot S276, a 1968 Corvette convertible. Let's see. It's got the big block 427, 435 horse. Made it to a four speed transmission. The odometer reads 23,865 miles. It is finished in Le Mans blue with a blue interior. NCRS top flight awarded. Uh, Bloomington Gold Certified, NCRS Top Flight Award, and a lot of other stuff. Beautiful, beautiful car.